Now, as summer returns, so do our skin-bearing clothes. But what if you want the tanned look without the dangers of the sun? Well, Trudy has the answer. Morning, Trudy. Morning. So self-tanning can be a little bit scary. I'm We've all not had a blunder. Good at it. We've all yeah. had a bronzing blunder. So what's the checklist? Um, look, there's about three or four things you need to do. Choose a tan that you can manage, because you know there's no point putting on something that you can't manage. Mm. Prep your skin, moisturise, and use a gradual tanner post self-tanning. Okay, so those things sound something like Sounds, something. Sound easy. Do. So how do you prep the skin? I think what you need to know is that dry skin doesn't like tan or tan doesn't sit on dry skin because the actual ingredient in the tan, which is a sugary extract, it's called DHA, um, it reacts with the amino acid in the skin, the dead skin on top of your body, on top of your, you know, okay, the dead yep. layer. And if it's dry and crusty, that's when your tan goes patchy. Okay. So you need to exfoliate and moisturise, wait a few hours. Often I exfoliate at night, moisturise and then tan in the morning. And you should be good to go. So that's why you need to do it around the um, the ankles and stuff, because you quite often see that sort of the, those demarcation lines around the ankles, yeah. and the knees, and the elbows. And most people put tan on and they slap it on their hand. Where do they start? On their wrist or their ankle, and that's why you get the most coverage and the the blotchiness there. So start on the bigger parts of the body and finish on those bony bits. Okay. Because so, you don't really need much tan on there, just yeah. a little bit. So you meant to go lighter on the face, aren't you? Why is M that? Much lighter on the face because your face is generally darker than your body. So if you really tan up your face and your neck is white, it looks like you're wearing the wrong colour foundation. Yeah. So really just use a gradual tanner on the face or mix a tanning oil with your moisturiser. Um, you really only just want a hint of colour. I don't often tan my face with self tan, I often just use a bronzer and really just put it where the sun would naturally hit your face okay. and I think that's enough. So and what happens if you, you make some mistakes, which I would probably do, how, how do you go about fixing them? Look, there's a couple of things you can do. Moist, um, exfoliating is great, like a grainy scrub, or a little bit of acetone on a pad, a little bit of acetone remover, nail polish remover on a little cotton pad will take off those really blotchy orange bits. Okay. It really does work. Um, a girlfriend of mine uses toothpaste. I haven't tried it, but she swears by that. Um, anything that's going to lift that layer of skin off really will, will help, you know, and buff it off. Okay. And so you've done it. You've gone to all this trouble of doing this. How do yeah. you make it last? Moisturiser. You know, the more you moisturise your skin, the longer your tan will last. So if you do a tan and use a mousse, back it up with a gradual tanner every day after that. So if you, you know, it depends on the formula you use, but a gradual tanner really is just got a little bit of tan in it and it's a moisturiser. So use that every day. Dry skin is a barrier to a great looking tan. So if you are moisturising every day, your tan should last a week. Okay, so so a, a week. Does some last longer than others or is it all? Some do, but I think, you know, your your skin naturally sheds after about 30 days. So it's, it's dynamic, you know, it's mm. changing every day. So you do really need, and it depends what you do. If you shave your legs, you know, if you wax, that actually takes that top layer of skin off. So you really need to make sure you're tanning every, I tan in summer probably every three or four days. Okay. And, and I use a gradual tanner in between. And I guess if you go into the gym too, it would wear off more Well, that's as well. right. If you're sweating, yeah. hot spa pools, swimming, chlorine, all these things, you know, impact on your tan. Let's talk about Let's the products. Talk about so the what products. do we well, have here? These are all newish products I bought in today. Um, Cooler is a very famous sunscreen brand. They've just launched some tans. This is a gradual tanner, like I was talking about. Huh. It's got green coffee in it, hydrating, um, conceals the look of blotchy skin. You know, it gives it a nice um, tint of colour. I shouldn't really put this you're on my hand, should I? You're going to have um, yeah. you're going to have bronze fingers we'll after that. See how that, that goes. Okay. Um, but you know, it's a great one for pre-tan. You know, in between tan, and it's organic and eco suit that one. Smells so nice. I like concerned. their sunscreen. Their spray on sunscreen. It's a, very good. A I use that a lot. Um, a fave of mine, Tan Organic. You know, a lot of pregnant ladies email me and say, what tan can I use if I'm pregnant? I'm really nervous about it absorbing into the skin. This is an organic tan. It's a mousse. It's beautiful. It doesn't smell. It's just stunning. So I would go with that if you're looking for an organic okay, option. Okay, so it's perfect fade, no, no smell. Streaks. I'm not really going to put these no, all over me, actually. I've decided. You'd have to be really difficult to get a streak out of that one. It's brilliant. Yeah. Um, Another famous brand, um, Bondi Sands, they've got some really good um, no commitment tan is what I call them. Good. That is a shimmer in a bottle which is instant colour. You know when you go into that party and you think, oh my legs look terribly white, yep. I'm wearing a skirt? That's perfect. You just put it on, it instantly gives you colour and you can wash it off in soap and water after, you know, Okay, I'm evening. just shimmering one hand up then. Shimmer one hand up. It's beautiful for the decollete. It just gives a gorgeous coverage.
Okay. And it's no commitment. It washes off. Can't so. really see it. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Oh, crikey, we're running out of time. Um, oh, John, the wheels are falling off. Okay. Um, and well. that's an argan oil infused with a tan too. So same from Bondi Sands. And just quickly, the last two new, if you thought saint had it all, they've got, actually wowed us this summer with two more. A super dark mousse for those tanning pros that want a really, really chocolate colour. look like you're on the beach at saint -Tropez. And this is so clever. It's a water that turns into a mousse. Ooh. And you just put that on your body. It smells like a cocktail. It smells like a pina colada. Um, yeah, no yeah. streak. Very, very natural. So if you're a really nervous tanner and you want a lovely, light, hydrating tan, that is perfect. That sounds like a bit of meat. Light and nervous tanner. Hey, thank you so much, Trudy. Absolute pleasure. Now, for more great beauty know-how, head to Trudy's website, beautyeq.co.nz.